Good afternoon. I wanted to real quick bring some articles to you. It is Friday. We won't be broadcasting tonight. Um, however, this is some pretty um, pretty big escalations, at least in language and wording. I don't know how much weight there is to any of it, of course. Um, but let's take you right on over. I'm not going to leave the individual links because there's three there's three different articles. You can just go to warnews247.gr, warnews247.gr, and you'll find these articles. That's they're right there. Um, so anyway, it says here, uh, this first one, Is- Iran analyst says Israel will not be able to respond to Iran's retaliation. And, um, it's very short and sweet article here. <laughs> says the position that Israel will not force Iran to enter a multi-action game, which would cost Tehran dear- dearly, is formulated by Iranian analyst Ruala. Modaber, in his statements to the Russian news agency Ria Novosti, Modaber claims that Israel made a strategic mistake by destroying the Iranian consulate in Damascus with an airstrike and will not be able to respond to Tehran's retaliation. The Ynet agency reported that several Israeli military and Mossad have approved plans to respond in case Israel is attacked by Iran. Okay, so that's kind of a dark statement to make about the situation. Another article here, I don't know really which one. I guess I'll do this one because this is uh, older than the other one. Titled, A Matter of a Few Hours, Iran's Attack on Israel, writes the Wall Street Journal, with the finger on the trigger, The uh, says the IDF. Says Iran is expected, or maybe the IDF has finger on the, I don't know. Uh, Iran is expected to attack Israel in the next 24 to 48 hours with an exclusive Wall Street Journal report saying that the Jewish state is preparing for an immediate attack on the north or south of its country. The Wall Street Journal report said a person briefed on the Iranian regime's leadership said no final decision has been made, but plans for the attack had been discussed. The attack is a response to the um, attributed to Israel's strike on the Iranian consulate in Damascus, Syria, which killed several members of the Quds Force of the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps, one of whom was also a member of the Hezbollah leadership. Tehran, with the most crucial, or not crucial, Tehran, with the most official lips, those of Supreme Religious Leader Ayatollah Khomeini, publicly threatened to respond to the attack. Iran's threat to retaliate against Israel for the attack on its consulate in Damascus is further raising tensions in the Middle East, prompting calls for restraint, while it remains to be seen whether progress will be made in trying to silence them, weapons in the Gaza Strip, at least temporarily. Iran is threatening to launch a major attack against Israel, U.S. President Joe Biden said earlier this week, reaffirming U.S. support for its close ally despite tensions between the two governments over the way Israel, Israel, yeah, Israeli military operations are conducted in the Gaza Strip. Anyway, and in the uh, latest here, uh, get, out, get out of Iran and Israel, France, India, Norway ask, uh, locked a large Iranian attack with hundreds of drones and missiles, maybe tonight, says the USA. So let's see what this has to say. Uh, Middle Eastern countries are on red alert, as U.S. officials told CBS News that a major Iranian attack on Israel is expected as early as Friday. The Americans are describing an Iranian attack which, if it happens, will open the door to the madhouse in the Middle East. According to the Americans, the attack may include hundreds of drones to saturate Israeli air defenses and more than 100 missiles aimed at military targets inside Israel. All of them will participate in the attack, the Shia militias in Syria, Iraq, Yemen, and Hezbollah, while in the end, Iran will be hit. Soon, after Israeli media leaked that Israel was preparing for the worst-case scenario that U.S. officials believe could materialize within hours, the possibility of an immediate attack on Israel's, Israeli soil by Iran. 
They also noted that the IDF and Mossad approved plans to attack Iran if Tehran attacked Israel from its soil. So, uh, France's foreign minister recommends the French to completely avoid traveling in the coming days to Iran, Lebanon, Israel, and the occupied Palestinian territories, sources close to him told AFP. The French foreign ministry says relatives of diplomats based in Iran will return to France and that the French civil servants are now barred from carrying out missions in Iran, Lebanon, Israel, and the Palestinian territories. Meanwhile, India issued a security alert urging Indian nationals not to travel to Israel and Iran due to the prevailing situation in the region. It notes that Indians already in the two countries should take maximum precautions for their safety and keep their movements to a minimum. Norway has issued a travel warning urging its citizens not to travel to Israel due to Iranian threats. Finally, the U.S. Embassy in Jerusalem today issued a security alert as well as an updated travel alert for Israel, restricting travel by U.S. government employees and their families to the sites of Jerusalem, Tel Aviv, and Beersheba as a precaution against Iran's imminent retaliation against Israel. Uh, says Israel is now in final preparations for the worst-case scenario, which the U.S. intelligence officials believe could be begin in just a few hours and would include the launch of hundreds of long-range cruise missiles, ballistic missiles, and kamikaze drones. According to U.S. government sources, Iran's attack on Israel will begin with a missile attack. The threat of an Iranian attack on Iran is, uh, uh, yeah, that's what it says. <laughs> the threat of an Iranian attack on Iran is real, alive, and immediate. The U.S. emphasized, I think that's written wrong, while Bloomberg noted that the U.S. is preparing its defense, they have not moved additional troops into the area. Biden administration officials are increasingly concerned that Iran has made the final decision to launch a larger-than-usual airstrike on Israel, consisting of several coordinated missile and drone strikes from multiple fronts. So, and then it just goes on, you know, talking about diplomacy. It's only one more section, but you get the point. Um, just stay as best prepared as you can. Don't freak out. Don't let this, you know. But I will tell you that, you know, now is a time that we probably need to make sure that we got whatever we need in order. I mean, I'm telling you, it, it, it doesn't take much. It really doesn't to totally put this country upside down. And all it would take would be a, a properly placed cyber attack and um, put the United States in darkness, indefinite darkness. And they wouldn't, have to, they wouldn't have to put a single boot on our soil. They wouldn't have to do anything over here. That's all they'd have to do. Wipe out our power grid, make sure it stays wiped out for at least a few years. And they probably did more damage than they could with all the bombs they could ever make. So, that's why I say be ready. Anyway, I hope you have a good weekend. God willing, I'll see you Sunday night. Shalom.